Mr. Revolver Guy here with DayAtTheRange.com, back with another episode on the 300 Blackout. Today, I'm on the range, and as you can see, I have my Ruger Ranch 300 Blackout, and also my AR and 300 Blackout. I just finished sighting the one to four sight mark in. I wanted something for quick acquisition, something that... Uh, wouldn't cost a whole lot for this particular rifle and something to do some training with. So I went with the sight mark and I'll be doing a review on that later. But today we're doing a review on the Berries Wedge is what it's called. I'm sorry, it's not Berries. It is the Rainier Wedge um, in 300 Blackout. I have three loads here today that I'm going to try in each rifle. One is loaded with 11 grains of CFE black. The other is loaded with 11 grains of IMR 4227 and nine grains of little gun. I'm gonna put five rounds through the chronograph on target down range of each of these loads through each weapon. Stay tuned and join me at dayattherange.com. All right, got the chronograph on. We're gonna go at the top left target with these Rainier wedges loaded with 11 grains of CFE black. I have it on four power. Gonna shoot them across the chronograph, see how it goes. Twelve forty-six. Twelve eighty-five. Twelve seventy-eight. Not too bad. 12.54. And the last round is 12.36 of CFE Black, 11 grains of CFE Black. The group doesn't look too bad downrange. All right, so here you're looking at five shots from the AR-15 rifle, CMMG barrel, uh, pistol length gas tube, 11 grains of CFE black, five shots from 50 yards. We're gonna move on to the next load now, uh, which is 11 grains of IMR 4227. The next five shots is 11 grains of IMR 4227. Eleven zero six. Ten seventy seven. Ten forty nine. Ten forty eight. And 1044. Not bad. For subsonic, 11 grains of RMR 4227, drop it down to 10.5 grains. Might have a decent subsonic load, but I'll have to see what the target looks like downrange. You're looking at five shots from the AR-15, from the same AR-15, with 11 grains of IMR-4227. I uh, really don't like that group. The next up is nine grains of little gun in the AR. All right, with 11 grains of 4227, it did, uh, the bolt did lock home on the last shot also. Let's see what nine grains of little gun will do across the chronograph and on the target. 
Nine grains of little gun. Twelve forty eight. Twelve seventy seven. Twelve eighty three. Thirteen eighteen. And it did lock the bolt back with thirteen oh four on the last round. And then here, you're looking at five shots from the AR-15, nine grains of little gun. Not bad, and if the bullet were to expand or not, we really don't know if it would be good for, test, for, good for hunting hogs, but I will tell you, um, for hunting accuracy, the first and second group, first and last group from the AR-15, uh, I would consider good accuracy for hunting.